Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim Anniversary Edition. Where, uh, we're in... Well, I, 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 I want to say Forsaken Cave, but I think the cave bit is a bit past us now, isn't it, really? We're in Karalmel's tomb right now, having slain Karalmel himself and taken his fancy handy-dandy white file, which is cracked and broken. So that's a little unfortunate. However, we've got it, and we can take it back to the old High Elf who runs the magic shop in uh, Windhelm. I was about to say, in Skyrim. I hope we don't come to a dead end in here. We won't, Minigo. It never works like that, mate. It's a Skyrim, not Morrowind. Um, <laughs> anyway, I was about to say, yeah, in, in the magic shop in Skyrim, and I thought to myself, hmm, I'm going to be a bit more specific than that, I think. Anyway, we head back out, and... Um, there you go, there's the convenient exit we've all come to know and love. And the main, main chief problem I think we're going to face is that it's uh, we're, we're quite tired right now. And also it's the cold. Now the question is, do I want to go directly back to Windhelm to hand over the file or just wander off in the direction of Whiterun and eventually Solitude and then at some point come back and give the guy the vial? Probably should double back to uh, to Windhelm and give him the file because by the by the sounds of the, the the state the guy was in, he might not be around for much, very much longer. So by the time we come back from, uh, this won't happen because it never works that way in these games. But realistically, by the time we come back all the way from Solitude, eventually uh, the guy could be dead, is the way I'm thinking. So we should probably go back to Windhelm because if he's dead, probably no reward. does mean we've got a bit of a jog back to the city in some very cold weather. I should probably put something on my head. Where's that uh, fur mantle? There we go. That'll have to do. And while we're in Windhelm, I might look into getting some cold weather clothing as well. Not another vampire. You gotta be kidding. Oh look, the Vigilants are out again. Interesting spell they've got going there. Well, find us keepers. I shall continue on. Oh, there it is, the miserable city itself. Looking quite imposing, actually, in the morning light, admittedly. The landscape certainly still manages to impress in this game, I must say. Excuse me. Hello. Anyone home? I really do need a bell I can ring out here, don't they? Hello. Ah. Here we are. You look off. Better not get me sick. Oh, right. Yes, I almost forgot about that. Alchemy is simple. Unless, of course, you were simple. Then, I can't help you. I've brought you your file, but it's damaged, I'm afraid. This here... It matches every description of the file that I've found in lore. But if it can't hold liquid, there's no way of knowing. How did you manage to damage it, then? This is what I get for not retrieving it myself. I'm afraid it was like this when I found it, and I'm not just saying that. Figures. I doubt you have sufficient knowledge to harm the file, even if you wanted to. Either way, this is the end of it. Now, if you'll excuse me, <laughs> I'm not quite in the mood to entertain guests. I trust you can show yourself out. Here's for your trouble. Must no, okay. Right, I was going to try and buy some uh, cure disease potions off him, but I guess that's not going to happen unless I can talk to this chap. I want to thank you for your help. I know my master can be a bit short at times. So I'm being pushed slowly down the stairs by my companion there. Um, 
Nerillion only gave me five bloody septims. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Even though the file was damaged, I still think your efforts deserve reward. Now, if you'll pardon me, I'm going to tend to Nerellian. I can make his final days a bit less painful. It's a good thing you gave me that reward. Otherwise I would have had to take it out of your stock. My master can be a bit short-tempered, but I've learned so much from him. Ah, okay, so, so do you friend. have cure disease? One, two, three, four. Yeah, that was a that was a little expensive, but um, it's gonna have to do. That potion of destruction is a little tempting, actually. I never remember to use it though. I just know it. Though actually, ah, so you're since I'm friend. here, value. Uh, anything else I can quickly just get rid of? Oh, all these bloody things. There we go. Very nice. Okay. Everything else I'm happy to keep for now. All right, then. Good, good, good. Okay, right. Uh, I'm going to go and wander on over to the, uh, the armor here and see if these got any I lost my twin sister a while back. cold weather first stuff we can buy. As soon as he's willing to hey, actually talk to me, there we go. Jordan, gray, Take a look. One of you. <laughs> uh, let's see. Armor. Wow. No, he really doesn't have any f fur available. He's got a silver helmet. Which is uh, interesting. Unbelievable. I'm actually going to have to make it myself. Iron plate armor. That's kind of interesting looking. Um, okay, well, that's, that's a little ridiculous. Never mind then. I feel like these are supposed to have a warmth rating on them, but they just don't. Could be a mod conflict, could be like my UI mod or something that's messing with it. But when you're playing in survival mode, items of clothing are supposed to have a warmth rating. But they don't. It should appear here along with all the other stats. Never mind. Whether it's armor you need or a new blade. Well, that was distinctly unhelpful. There's one last thing I'd like to do, which is actually go to Sadri's shop and... You know what? Forget Sadri's shop. Let's try some of the other merchants here first. Uh, I need to see about getting some sort of bedroll. Ideally, also a tent would be nice. I don't haggle. If you want a lower price, look elsewhere. Take a look. Uh, here we go. Small fur tent bedroll. Perfection. That's, that's exactly what we need. A cooking pot would not go awry either. Have you got anything else interesting while we're here? In your little selection. Leather scout armor. Padded fur mantle white. Okay, let me have a look at all your armor. What have you got armor wise? No, you don't have any. Steel soldier armor. That's kind of interesting looking. Tempted to get that for Inigo, actually, but. Um, his steel plate that he's got right now is probably better, frankly, so. Uh, leather scout armor is a little tempting? But no. Uh, okay, so yeah, we need, we need small fur tent bedroll. That will do nicely. Thank you. Um, while we're... No, 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 I don't... Oh, my... This game and its terrible, terrible dialogue interface. Um, how long have you been in Windhelm? Just got here from the Somerset Isles. Lots of opportunity in Skyrim. You reckon so? Out of curiosity, do you, uh... Do you get it treated as badly as the Dark Elves around here? It was difficult at first. The Nords of this city are at best suspicious of outsiders. 
But in time, I made the right friends and proved myself useful enough that they don't give me trouble anymore. The Dark Elves are too proud and naive to understand the way things truly are, and so they continue like to dwell in that slum. Interesting. Well, you'll go far, I think. Thank you for your custom. Right, okay. Well, I've got what I needed. No need to go visit uh, Sadri. I, I mean, I, I, I might go see him anyway, though, to be fair. Is his name Sadri? I forget. Yeah, it's Sadri. I'm confusing him with Sadrin over in Riften somewhere. Sadri. I'm going to go visit him anyway, see what he's got. But aside from that, we're going to go probably to the corner club and get a few hours of Kip and then, and then hit the road again. Right, it's that time again, everybody. I think we're going to take more Magicka again. Uh... Let's see. Destruction. Another rank of destruction mastery could be good. I feel like we're not focusing enough on melee weapons though lately, you know? I, I really feel like uh, we're not focusing enough on melee weapons considering uh, Fathus' background. We're getting a little bit too magey at the moment. But, unfortunately, it's one of the most effective ways to deal with enemies I'm finding at the moment. So it's kind of, uh... I feel like I'm being boxed into a corner a little bit with it all, you know? Not uh, Also, there's not really any perks available. Which means I probably need to actually use one-handed a bit more often. Damn it. Alright, well, um... It's hard to do that when you don't have any decent armor, is the thing. Uh, that's interesting. Armor rating uh, of light armor increased by 20%. You gain a small amount of light armor experience when wearing at least two pieces of light armor in combat. Do you know what? Let's take that. Let's, let's take that. That probably should have taken that earlier, really, because that's going to add up over time. All right, we're good. We've got a few hours sleep. We're waking yes, feeling well, well rested, apparently. It is 1 p.m. Time for us to hit the road once again. See if I can make it to the inn that's along the road from uh, Windhelm towards uh, uh, to, towards Whiterun. Without freezing to death, that would be a good idea, I think. Also, that's just a little peckish. Let's just quickly eat something. There we go. Hi, mister. Would you like to buy some flowers? Please? No, I do not. Out of my way, child. Oh. Okay, sorry. Got important places to be. Well, the weather is just lovely. Who the hell's this guy? Afflicted refugee. Are you finished ogling the grotesque? I suppose I should be grateful you didn't simply attack me. Your skin, are you ill? I am one of the afflicted. I'd have been dead from this plague a year ago if not for Periite's protection. Where are you going? Returning to High Rock, our shepherd lost his way, and I fear Periite's wrath may consume those who remain with him. Kesh could tell you more. I just want out of Skyrim as quickly as possible. More daedric nonsense in it go. my chance to use my <laughs> one hand and skill there we go I'm amazed I'm not dead that was a bloody ice wolf there might be more of them ahead Be gone, creature! Did you get to oh, finally, here we go. The night gate in, if I recall correctly. We are freezing.
Eliarchen discovered. Ah, oh, it's actual full blend settlement, I see. Let's grab these on our way in. Got a little, yeah, there's a little shop and everything here now. Very cool. But let's get inside, shall we? Good grief. join us he did excellent brilliant Whew. right I'm gonna warm up for a bit okay so uh, are you talking to me I wasn't don't you think you've had quite enough it's not even the evening yet enough what are you talking about this is my first one you look like you're three sheets to the wind my friend Hey, no, Why really. This is down? my first Where's drink. It's this damn what, hammer dress. Fault. Yeah, that's right, you wood hugger. No, I know you're drunk. I know, I know. It sounds crazy, don't it? On that troll I can't explain it, but whenever I use this hammer, I end up feeling well hammered. <laughs> the more I use it, the drunker I feel. Last week, I got jumped by some bandits, fended them off, but woke up here in the inn. And why don't you just stop using this strange artifact you found? Stop using the hammer, you say? Well, that would make sense now, wouldn't it? Problem is, this old girl and I have been through quite a lot together, and I've never been able to find a fitting replacement for her. Well, uh, I'm not going to give him a replacement, so well, good luck with that. Huh? Oh, yeah. See ya. No, I'm ah, come hello there, down. traveler. Come to the night gate for food or lodging? Mostly just your warm fire, sir. Uh, but since you're here, take a look. You got any food? Yeah, you could talk up, top up a little bit. Wouldn't hurt. Meat pie, nice. There we go. Uh, what can you tell me about this inn? This old place? Huh. Been here forever. Built by my great granddad. Run by him, then all the way up the line to me. I see. Well, fascinating. I must go. Anything you need, just holler. Hold on. Are you alright? You look like you got a taxi. I'm not a priestess, but I did read Withershins back in the year 199. I'm fine, thank you. Well, good for you. Withershins was a terrible book anyway. The name's Colin. What can I do you for? No, nothing actually. <laughs> About <the time. laughs> As a matter of fact. Um, okay, we've warmed up now. I guess we can leave. I don't really feel like, feel like sitting around talking to people. We've got places to be, haven't we, Inigo? Although, having said that, the weather is still probably absolutely foul out here, isn't it? Oh, yeah, no, we should probably, yeah, no, we're just going to freeze to death halfway to Wind Windhelm. I mean, White Run, even. For, yeah, the air is treacherously cold. Yeah, oh, fine, fine. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. Think I got a clean mug around here somewhere? Either his memory is not really good, or he's mocking us. How can I help you? Are you a bard? That's right. I wander from city to city to inspire tomorrow's warriors with songs of yesterday's valor. Well, I've never been much of a musician. I did have a piano in Del Uvarith, but I never found the time to learn it. Uh, well, can I make a request? What would you like me to play? Uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, definitely not Ragnar the fucking red. Uh, 
I'll be the bear. How about that? A fine request. I can play that for you. Hadring got himself another customer, eh? He doesn't seem like a very particularly nice company, does it? Should we get situated over here, Renigo? Guess we're going to be stuck here until tomorrow, I think. Dude, just have a seat, man. He's just going to stand there staring at me like a loon, isn't he? Oh, dear. What are you just... You want to talk? Well, no, I suppose, but have you got any thoughts to share? No. Right now, my mind is a dried-up riverbed. Speak to me. Uh, mind if I ask you something? Of course. What do you want to know? Oh, I can actually tell him to relax here for a bit. Okay, I figured there would be something like that. Tell me about yourself, Inigo. Sand and sun is not for me. Sometimes I wonder if I'm really Khajiit at all. Yes, I've noticed you've been coping with the cold a lot better than myself. My senses rule me. If something smells good, I cannot resist. Well, behave yourself while you're around me, please. Fire away. Tell me more about your past. I'm still trying to piece together this whole business with you shooting me with a bow and arrow. My brother and I never knew our real parents. We were found abandoned in his smelly shack by a soldier on his way to battle. We melted his heart with our fuzzy little faces, and he carried us to the nearest town. He deposited us at an orphanage, and that is where we spent most of our childhood. Oh, that's interesting. So, uh, him and Fathers are both orphans. Alright. Uh. My brother and I were adopted by a couple of retired assassins. I guess the orphanage did not do a family background check. <laughs> well, you must have had a very interesting childhood then. Mine was perhaps a little more unconventional than most, but I suppose all childhoods are interesting to some degree. My parents provided me with love and encouragement. Apart from the nightly training sessions, we were a normal family. I was bullied by the other Khajiit children because of my unusual color and markings. My mother showed me a handy trick with a rock and a glove. I was never bothered again. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad serves the little lounge right, I suppose. Yes, bullies should not be tolerated. They soon learned that being different is not a weakness. All right, well. All set? I think we might have a little more in common than I initially suspected, Inigo, my friend. Well, it's the following morning, and uh, the weather doesn't seem to have improved a huge deal, but, but it does say the air is frigid now as opposed to treacherously cold. I have to assume that treacherously cold is worth, worse than frigid. So, this is going to have to do, isn't it? Um, if I stand next to this Ford for a moment, it'll, it'll, things will warm up. Um, yes? The finest weapons and armor. Let's see if this guy's got anything useful. A leather scout helmet. Meh. Nah. Nord male shirt. That's technically light armor. It looks ridiculous, though. Uh, plenty of... He's got buckets of heavy armor, but... Who knew that fur... Just basic... Basic fur armor was so difficult to acquire in Skyrim, of all places. It's downright ridiculous, really. But that silver armor's kind of cool. Well, if he didn't cost so much, I'd consider maybe getting that for Inigo or something. He's I mean, he's kind of rocking the heavily armoured, uh, uh, you know, Good sort day. of um, whiskered Khajiit knight kind of look at the moment, isn't he, really? Hmm? It's it's a nice counterpart to Fathus' style of doing things. I think they complement each other quite well. I think I'm going to... 
initially I thought Inigo was rubbish with heavy armor, but it seems that he can use just he can use it just fine. So I think I'm going to continue down the road I of him. Don't mind the snow. It's beautiful. Using heavy armor just because it means I can keep all the light armor to myself, theoretically. Anyway, um, I don't know, iron plate helmet and that steel soldier boots. Anyway, uh, time for us to hit the road. I think. If this is anything else of interest around this little village. Jen's farmhouse. Really going on here, but I like that it's here. That Skyrim definitely needed more of this kind of stuff, if you ask me. Morrowind is absolutely littered with little villages and hamlets um, that ne don't necessarily serve, serve a huge uh, gameplay purpose beyond just making the world feel a little more real and lived in. Um, Skyrim was desperately lacking in that department, I felt. And actually, to be honest with you, so is Oblivion. Oblivion even more so, actually, in, in vanilla. So, uh, okay, this place is locked, apparently, so we're not going in there. All right. I mean, we could, but in broad daylight? Pff, I don't think so. All right. Time to hit the road. We're already chilly. Good stuff. Well, this is starting to look a little bit more like White Run Hole, which means that hopefully the worst of the cold weather is behind us. As you can tell by my health bar, we're a bit bloody chilly right now. To the point, actually, where uh, Longstride is not even speeding me up very much. Also, it's a blast. Wolves! <laughs> Annoying creatures at this rate, though. I'm going to have to start taking their fur to make my own damn fur armor if I can't find any anywhere. Freezing, apparently. Not ideal, really. Apparently, even though we're... Oh, okay. There we go. The weather's finally changed. Oh, we're finally warming up. Praise the gods. Okay. What a curiously dressed fellow. Hmm. Pale hold guard. You know, you're a little out of your jurisdiction. <laughs> okay. Oh. Yeah, yeah, we're warming up now, finally. Phew. <sighs> Pale is not a nice place to be, as it turns out. Unless you're dressed to the nines in a full suit of fur armor, I suppose. It would be ideal, actually, right now, if we could just warm up a little bit more so that my vision would be become a little less blurry. Because I've noticed that our vision gets a bit blurry when we're cold, and it's a little irritating, frankly. Oh my god, what's happening? Oh, we got some bandits. Okay. I think my light armor just increased. That perk's already paying off. Aha! Now we finally find some fur. Braces. It's better than nothing. The, the actual fur armor that she's wearing. Let's go. Yeah, the, the fur kill or whatever is, is, is next to useless, though, is the thing. We need proper fur armor. The kind with the sleeves. Oh, no. Fair armor. Better, not ideal though. He still doesn't have any sleeves. It's it, it's it's still, you know, it's a step in the right direction though. I oh, see so you didn't seem particularly keen on helping out there. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something in the old fort near Riften. Might consider joining up myself. Stop. God damn it. No, I refuse to do Dawn Guard game. Stop it. We don't hear Dragon's Reach Underground Stream. Oh, interesting. 
I don't know. Some sort of prisoner. They say Helgen got hit by a dragon. One of those horrors comes here. We'll be ready. Frankly, no, you won't. You won't be able to you weren't able to deal with those poxy bandits. You're gonna be screwed if a dragon turns up. Um, same to you! Come now, oh mighty one! Separate my eyebox from the mortal coil! <laughs> Stupid empire and their steel bit lists! Where's the final song? Stupid empire and stupid lists, eh? Any the way where the, there's no headsman around, you know. My ancestors are whispering again. Can you say the same? Can you? Can you? Interesting. It would take too long to explain why, Inigo, but I have a strange feeling about this fellow. You're only slightly more mad than the rest of us, I suppose. The voices! I can hear it, but they do not speak. Steal the tongue, you mangy dog, before you meet the chicken's claw! <laughs> yes! Yes! You can see me! You can see me! Uh, okay, we'll reach for his hood. No! No! No, 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 You! No time to look upon my eye holes! Naughty, naughty, naughty! <sighs> Bring the cutter already! Bring it! Bring it! You want me to kill you? Why? Still, a waggle and wave of the hammer doesn't fly! We took the hood's fur and put us in a stew! Not fair! Not fair! <laughs> Drag one's pretty back! Not fair! So you lost something or someone? It got us deep! Did, did, did! And now you rest on block! Rest with me! We shall wait the coming stars together! Inigo, for reasons that would also take far too long to explain, he's making a strange sort of sense. Perhaps I've just spent too long reading all the, uh... sermons of Vivek, but... How about you come with us? Togetherness? Hmm. Hmm. They find this one acceptable, then Yes! Yes! We shall join them to the sky and back again! <laughs> you uh you don't have to sit on the block anymore, you know. Like it here, thank you. You will just have to stay, have to carry it with. Nil will not be left alone, not ever again. I'm afraid you'll have to leave your friend behind. No, I can't do this, not now. Strug, it's, it's just a piece of wood. Good night, sweet Neil, bender of legs, chopper of heads. <laughs> the redness is all over it again. Not he, Neil has been cheated again. Well, well, so much for my fellowship. Now off. Marvelous. You might not think so right now, Inigo, but I have a feeling this fellow is going to be very useful. Come along, Strog. There's a good Strog. This way, let's find you some shoes.